All right, guys, so here we are. Shad Lance is ending as we speak. It's pretty crazy. Kind of feels a bit surreal to me, actually. But yeah, we're going into Dragonfly as we speak on NA. pre patch is rolling out. And for me, tomorrow on EU, uh, it's going to be live there. And with this, i got a bunch of questions uh, from followers asking me what build they should be playing in the pre patch. So what I've done is made two great builds. One for single target, one for cleave. Which, you know, cleave is more shuffle, single target, more duels, 2v2 maybe. Uh, that you can use in the, in the pre-patch, mainly for Felger PvP, uh, but they'll also be fine in PvE. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to move into it right now, and uh, let's dive into it. Alright, here we are. I had to move the cam bit because it blocks some talents, but let's dive into it. By the way, both these builds have imports for it, so just take the import, uh, blo blow the video, and just post it right here. Import, paste the, the code, and then pick a name. This will be single target, single target, and then just import the build. And that should do it for you. Uh, but yeah, starting off with a single target build. So one thing that's kind of unfortunate about Feraldred in the pre-patch is that we get most of our value kind of down in the tree. So as we level up to 70, we're going to kind of power creep very hard. But we can still make a pretty decent build in pre-patch. We're just going to be like missing some of, her, some of her stuff, which is kind of the same for every class. Uh, but yeah, this is my build for single target uh, damage in PvP. So as you can see, we're kind of going down here. We're skipping Paramrath and Double Cold Rake, which is great. We can do that now to get Lunar, because Lunar used to be here, but it's been moved right here. So now we can skip those. We'll get Lunar. We still have Berserk. We're going to be skipping Moment of Clarity, as we don't really have the talent point for it at this time. Uh, we still have Cirque, though, and Cirk Frenzy, which is very nice. Uh, we're going to go through uh, Frantic Momentum and get Adaptive Swarm. So right here, you can also go double into Carnivorous Instincts as well uh, to get that as well, like this. Both are fine. I think uh, Phantom Mentum is nice, but so is Carnivorous Instincts. And yeah, we have Wall. We have Slash. We're missing like the Circle, Vayne Ripper combo, which kind of what, what we play in 70. Uh, but one thing that's quite important to me for these builds is, is kind of preparing guys uh, for the play style we're going to be playing in 70. And not just some like knock or not a knockoff, but like a one-off build for the pre-patch. I want to kind of give you guys a build that's going to be training you well for the play style we're going to be using in 70. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty important with these builds. So keep that in mind that these builds will prepare you well for what's to come. Uh, but then we're just going to be adding some extra things into it as uh, we get 70, of course, because we we'll get more town points. So that is this side uh, pretty much. Here as well, we got Tiger's Tenacity instead of Raging Fury. Both are pretty good, but I think Tiger's Tenacity does have a beat uh, in this kind of build. Infected Wounds is great. We got Sudden Ambush. Keep in mind that Rakes do crazy damage. So, uh, Rake is like a major damage dealer now in Dragonflight because of the buffs to Infective Wounds. Uh, but also just that we can proc Rake from Stealth or Rake from Stealth, as it was Stealth, uh, a bunch with Sudden Ambush. And in the Cleave build, which we're going to get to, Double Cut Rake is quite massive as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to kind of show you guys on a Delmi bit some damage, and then we're going to be moving on to the next build. So. All right, so now quick rotation guide for the single target build. One thing to keep in mind is that even though this is like mainly a single target build, it can still cleave quite well uh, because draft is gone. Draft being gone is one of the best things to happen to Feraldred in a long time. This means you're not really like uh, restricted to one target. So if you want to throw rake up or moon up or rip up on two targets or three, uh, you're uh, fine to do so without kind of getting punished uh, by your legendary. Uh, so yeah. This, this build, it's quite um, simple in a way. It's pretty similar to Shadowlands as well, in that we have Fury, Frenzy, and Swarm. Um, to keep in mind, though, we also have BT now. We can have BT and Frenzy, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, this build, by the way, again, is going to lead you nicely into the 70 version, which is, which kind of just builds on this. So if, if you get the, the fundamentals done with this well, you'll be very, very uh, prepared for the 70 version, which is like more fleshed out. But yeah, so for the opener, what I'll do is Fury and Stealth for the big diamond rake. Frail Frenzy, Swarm. We're going to Cirk then, and then I'll press Rip. Moonfire, Shred, Bite. At that point, after that, you can like Shred, Bite again. Uh, and just kind of keep keep the, the damage up. And keep in mind, we also have BT now. So you kind of want to proc BTs up in that as well. Um, but yeah, so one thing about BT. So when it comes to Lion Strength and BT, on paper, BT, Blood Talents, is better. Usually, it's 10% more damage on Bleeds and Bites. But it's a bit hard to use. Can be a bit clunky sometimes. But overall, I think it's really fun and a great talent. Uh, so I think I would recommend you guys getting used to this um, in the pre-patch. But 
Blind Strength is also a great option and probably is better sometimes when it can't really proc so much BT. Uh, and it's passive, which makes it easier. Uh, so Lion Strength is not a bad option at all. Uh, but yeah, I would recommend trying to get used to BT. But yeah, let's do a go. So pretty much we're going to open up with Fury and Stealth, Rake, Frog Frenzy. There we go. And then I'm going to Swarm and then I'm going to Cirque now. Place Rip, Moonfire, Shred. Should probably proc BT here and then Bite. And then again, Shred. Bite, proc a new BT now. There we are. And then you can bite again. And this is pretty much like the base rotation. Uh, beyond this, you're going to maintain the BT rip. You could also start cleaving here. Apply rake to, to another target, for example, when you get sudden ambush proc now. Your rake will, de will, will deal damage as if it's from, from stealth. So you can spread a few of those. Moon from here and there. Uh, and then just, you know, get ready for the next go. Maim, do it all again. And uh, that's pretty much like this basic rotation. Um, but yeah, it's like quick rotation guides here because uh, we got to get to the next build, which is the cleave build. That's going to be used mainly in solo shuffle. All right, so here we are with the cleave build. So this build I'm very excited for, uh, for solo shuffle, 3v3, but also BGs. Rated BGs, normal BGs, because the, the, the cleave you can do is absolutely insane. Uh, again, this is a build that's going to lead you nicely into the 70 version. The Dragonfly version, you know, uh, w w w when the game's actually out. Uh, but, you know, we're missing some things as uh, we're level 60. But yeah, this build will be a nice way to warm up for Dragonfly. Um, and how are we going to cleave in Dragonfly? So yeah, for this build, as you can see, we are we are grabbing Primal Wrath and Double Clawed Rake. Double Clawed Rake is great. You can even like Double Clawed Rake from Stealth. If you get two, two people stacked, press Rake from Stealth and it's going to stun both of them. Um, and then we're moving down and we're grabbing Tear Open Wounds. Tear Open Wounds is great because this gives high value on reapplying uh, Primal Wrath. So even if it's already up, you want to reapply it and you're going to get a nice chunk of damage instantly. And then we're going down here. We're getting Slash. This is where uh, in 60, you don't really get th like the same kind of build. Of course you don't because uh, it was 60. But yeah, so we're not getting t Rip and Tear. And we're not getting Circle of Life and Death. And we're not getting Bite procs either. Which is a big part of this. But you can still cleave very hard in the pre-patch as well. Uh, we are getting BT. We are getting Frail Frenzy, Swarm, and Carnivore's Instincts. Here as well, you can go Frantic Momentum instead of Carnivore's. I think it's actually quite good in um, in uh, Shuffle. This right here. And also, for your uh, PP Talents... King of the Jungle is great with this build uh, because you get speed and healing increase on yourself uh, when you have many rips rips up. And with this build, you're going to rip on everything. So uh, keep that in mind that this is great as well. Which we'll see on the dummy. By the way, in general, PP talents uh, will just depend on the comp you're playing or like if someone else on your team has, has healing reduction. If they don't, you want to play Wicked. If they do, you skip Wicked and you go for probably Strength of the Wild or a Ferocious Wound. Or Thorns if it's a melee. Um... So yeah, that's a different story though. But yeah, now let's go on a dummy and kind of test this build out. And I'll show you guys uh, how to do it. So let's go. So as I said, yeah, with this clean build, we are missing some talents that will have a huge impact in 70. Like Rip and Tear, like uh, Apex Craving. Uh, but it's still a great build and it can still do huge damage. Uh, so it's pretty much the same as 70, uh, but with a few less steps. Uh, which makes it a great way to get used to it before we actually get to 70. Uh, but yeah, so rotation-wise here, it's going to be fairly similar opener. As we still have Fury, Frenzy, and Swarm. The difference is we're not going to be pressing Rip as much. We're going to be using Primal Wrath. And then uh, just kind of maintaining that. And this builds all by cleaving. Rake as well. Rake procs uh, with Sun Ambush does massive damage. And then also try to maintain Moonfire on as many targets as possible as well. Or, you know, three usually. Uh, and it's great. But although also with this build, uh, pets are great to cleave. Uh, especially in 70, as we get Apex, but still it's just good to cleave as much things as possible. And uh, they all kind of just get, like, cleaved up. So, yeah. Let's do an open air. Start off, Fury and Stealth, Rake, Frenzy, press Zerk instead of ripping. We're going to press Proc BT first, and then press Prime Wrath. And then we're going to try and maintain the Rake here. Get some Moonfires up, and then it's going to reapply Prime Wrath because we're playing with uh, Tear Open Wounds. Keep breaking things with Sudden Ambush. Moonfire here and there as well. And then every now and then you can kind of throw in a bite. By the way, try keep proccing BT. Can be tough sometimes, but try proc BT as much as possible. Throw in a rake maybe there. Moonfire again. And this is pretty much it. And then like once you get your um 
Frenzy back, you can do a new goal with um, Frenzy, Swarm, Fury. I DC'd. But yeah, you get the point, though. But like this wall wallpaper is so nice. Uh, it really is. It's amazing. I cannot wait for this for, for this uh, expansion. The uh, aesthetics actually quite remind me of of of, of Mop. But uh, yeah, before I go on a tangent. But yeah, so like that's that build. Uh, and next up now, I'm gonna kind of talk about the Druid General Tree, and how we're gonna build around that. Uh, so yeah. All right. So now onto the Druid Tree. So the Druid Tree is a bit shabby. It's not gotten any work at all really the whole time, except for one change, which was them adding a protective pack instead of fur, which was a nice change. But yeah, this tree is quite flawed overall. Uh, but yeah, for the pre-patch, I'm pretty much going with, with the same build here the whole time in both my builds. In level 70, I, I would usually go for Astral Influence when I'm playing my Klee build. Because the range on Primarath gets absolutely insane uh, when you have that. Uh, but yeah, for now, I'm not doing that as we're quite limited on, on, on town points. Uh, but you can see the build, we're getting most of the major stuff. You know, we don't have Renewal here either. Um... Here, like, you could grab Soothe, but there's no point really grabbing Soothe, as in you're, you're not getting some Peating Roar. You could skip Protective Pack, but I quite like it. So I'm kind of opting for more something like this, and also get Tyler's Pursuit for fun, for the extra movement speed uh, when he leaves forms, which is also quite nice. Uh, See, so yeah, here, if you want Clone, there's there, there's something you can do, which is just kind of skip this right here, those three, and then you grab Clone um, as well. So, that's that here. Uh, if you, if you clone or not, it kind of depends on the scenario. If you feel like you need it, uh, it's good. But, um, I've kind of found that in, in, in most of my shuffles, at least, I feel like I have so, have so, so high APM action per minute that I really have time to clone. Uh, but clone is nice to have for sure. And, uh, you know, you just gotta kind of see for yourself there if you feel like you need it or not in certain matchups. Um, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my builder, guys, uh, for the Druid Talent Tree. Um, and yeah, that's it. Pre-patch starting tomorrow. I'll be live streaming it, so you can check it check it out there. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video or my next live stream. Take care.